Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about Volley. Volley is a library used in Android to call the data from the web server. So you can call a web service like PHP file or ASP file from the web server. In previous videos, we have talked about how can we create a PHP file to add some data to the database to retrieve some JSON object or some JSON array. Now, how can we call those PHP files? At first, let's write something like volley library in Android. If you write something like that, volley library Android, the first link is transmitting network data using volley and the website developer.android.com. Let's go here. Here we are going to use this line. This line is how can you download the library of Volley into your app. So copy this file, go to Android, here in the Gradle, in the second one, which is build Gradle, the module one, open this file, and here at the line end of this file, best this one, then click on sync now. This used to add the volley library into your app. It will take some time to download this library and add it to your app. Yes. It add this library to your project now. The next step, after you add this library, to call a PHP file or any type of server-side file, you should add a permission to the internet. So to add a permission to the internet, go to the manifest file, open the Android manifest file, and here you should add this line. Uses permission with internet this means your project or your app will use the internet service of the device after you adding this let's add a php file to print a welcome you can use the volley for three types which is string json object or json array in this video we are going to talk about how can we retrieve a string from PHP file and show it on the Android. So let's open the WAM server. Yes. Then let's run the NetBeans. You can add any type of application you want to create the PHP file like Notepad++, Notepad, Zen Studio, any type of apps. Now, in the NetBeans, let's create a new project using the NetBeans. So, I'm going to the File menu, New Project, from the left side I'm going to use PHP and from the right side I'm going to use PHP application, then click Next. I will call this project, for example, Udemy Web. And as we have talked previously, you should select the C164 www to store this project. Okay. Then I'm going to add the udemy web after the www to store all this file inside this folder, then click finish. Now, it creates a project. Let's close those files from the previous projects. Here, my project, which is called udemy web. In the Udemy web, we have a source file folder. I will right click on this folder, select new 
PHP file. I will call it, for example, greeting. OK, finish. I'm going to select another browser. Now, I'm going to create a very simple file which print out welcome to, for example, Android with Kotlin. Okay, this is very simple PHP file which consists of one line which output that statement welcome to Android with Kotlin. Let's run this file. Okay. Right click and say run. And it will show the result in the Google Chrome browser. Yes, as you see here, welcome to Android with Kotlin. So in Volley, I should use this link inside the Android, but the Android will not accept the keyword localhost in the Android. So you should give it the IP address of the PC. How can I get the IP? Very simple. Just go to the CMD. CMD here, which is the command prompt. And write this statement, which is the IP config. Here, IP config, and press enter. Here, it will give you some IBV4 address, which is 192.168.8.100. Let's try this instead of localhost. Here, 192.168.8.100 and press enter. Yeah, it gives you the same result. Now I'm going to copy this line into the Android. In the next video, we're going to continue on how can we call this line from the Android. See you next video.